Tonight, a local community coming together to grieve the loss of a little boy who eyewitnesses say was shot and killed at point blank range while riding his bike. Cannon Hennett was just days away from starting kindergarten, but instead his loved ones gathered this evening to say goodbye. Michael Lozano speaking with family members. He is live in Wilson with more. Michael. Hey, Tisha. Well, yeah, this family is heartbroken. They've all left here from the funeral home. They had the funeral service earlier this evening. We saw it in the family's faces. We heard it in their voices. They are devastated by what happened and especially because their son was just riding his bike on a summer evening. Cannon was a beautiful kid and you see a smile on his face, that's where it was. And for this to happen, we shouldn't even be here. A grandfather and his family coming to grips with the shocking loss of five-year-old Cannon Hennick. At this evening's funeral service, more than 100 cars filled several parking lots. The Wilson community standing by the family during an unthinkable time. We didn't know it was just like all the other kids that I, that's mine and I helped raise. Lee Parker was Cannon's stepfather. He tells Eyewitness News he was shaken to his core when he heard that a neighbor allegedly shot Cannon while he was riding his bike outside of his home. We received a call, man. I, I was riding down the road. I just blacked out. Couldn't even think for a few seconds. It took a minute to register. Cannon's death garnering national attention. People all across the world hashtagging his name, also sending prayers and words of encouragement to the family. People have done for us all around from Australia, Ohio, Colorado. I mean, it don't stop. Tonight, 25 year old Darius Sessoms is in jail on no bond facing a first degree murder charge. Cannon's grandfather angered that anyone would do this to a kid just being a kid. That's evil. I never met this guy in my life, but that is one evil dude. To do that, he's where he should be. A loving, free-spirited young boy who was set to start kindergarten this week. Now the family is left trying to fill a hole they say will be impossible to replace. Try to get this. It'll never be behind us. He's always be with us, but we, we're going to get through it. Wilson police still do not have a motive at this evening. The family says they are grateful for the support they are seeing nationwide, worldwide, and right here in the community of Wilson. They are saying that right now it's about just trying to move forward and heal. I'm live in Wilson, Michael Lozano, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.